Good morning guys, Tupi Chris here. So I'm gonna be spooling my brand new Nasi Reel right here that I just got, my 4000. And I'm gonna be spooling it with spider wire. This is braid, 15 pound test braid, and there's 300 yards in that spool. So I'm gonna be using my Mirage. This is by handing. This is a really good looking rod. Eight and a half feet, two piece, medium heavy. So it'll be a nice matchup with my Nasi. I'll put on the 15 pound braid, 300 yards. If the fish can uh, manage to, to use up all 300 yards, it deserves its freedom. Okay, before you start spooling, you have to take this band off because if you don't take it off, the line is just going to spin around it. There it is. That's what you're looking for. You see that right there? That's the flap. So you just grab the flap. There you go. That's all you have to do. Okay, as you notice, this is not a braid ready spool. There's no uh, knurled area. So we're gonna put some electrical tape on so the, the, the braid or the mono that you choose can adhere to that. And as you can see, I use the electrical tape and I'm gonna put the line on it. So now I'm gonna use my fish on spooler to uh, spool the line on. This, this is a great little machine when you want to do your own uh, reels at home. So um, it, it should take all, should take all of this 300 yards of 15 pound test braid, possibly more. Let's see. There you go. 300 yards. Look at that. I hit it. It took all 300 yards. Look at that. I don't think that spool can take any more line, but that's it. Check that out. All nicely spooled on. I don't think you can get another yard on it. So there you go. That's the way it's gonna look. So let's see how it works. Really happy how this turned out. Everything feels so good. It fits together so well. So thank you for watching. This is Scuba Gris. Aloha.